All right, you don't put the garlic or the rosemary in the pan. You don't want to burn this stuff, just put it on top. What exactly are we doing here? Where did you get this from? What are we doing? You gotta tell them about the technique and everything. Oh, all this stuff, okay. Mm. Well, it's actually not even really a technique. I mean, this is like a... This, this, this comes about after hours and hundreds of steak sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just some shit you came up with. Well, not, not entirely. Uh, this, this is a little bit of... Country some, and a little bit rock and roll. Uh, exactly. This is, this is a little bit of Gordon Ramsay. This is, this is, I know. Get out of that, my kitchen. One. All right. All right, everybody. This is Devin. I'm here with Teats Treats, and we're going to show you how to cook a proper steak. Because, you know, we know you messed it up a couple times. We're going to show you how not to mess this up, how to make a perfect steak every single time. First, you got to let these steaks get to room temperature, okay? If you got some little baby thin thing that you got from the dollar store, uh, you can keep it in the fridge because you want to keep it nice and, you know, red in the middle. But otherwise, uh, if you got something nice and thick like that, you got to let it get to room temperature. You do not want a wet steak. Uh, it's going to create a bunch of steam in the pan. You got to let this thing get completely dry. So you got to get a piece of paper towel and get everything nice and dry. Now we're going to season it here in a second. And uh, don't be quick to season these steaks and then let them just sit because then they're going to start sweat. You put salt on meat, it starts to release some moisture and uh, you know that's going to make more moisture that is going to turn into steam in the pan. So here's the thing, since we're going to be basting these things in a minute, you want to use a good amount of salt. Most of the salt is going to come off in the base anyway, so you really can't have too much salt here. And you're going to hear that time and time again. We're not worried about our blood pressure anyway, right? Looks like T's got some good salt here. Is this good salt? It's kosher salt. It's kosher salt, okay. Most of the restaurants that I've worked at, I mean, even like even the big French restaurant, Danielle in New York City, that it's the diamond kosher salt. That's your that's the house stuff. salt. Okay. And, and that's, I've, I've been buying the pink Himalayan salt and trying to fresh grind it. It doesn't grind up right. Some pieces are big, some pieces are small. It takes for fucking ever. And then I just was like, fuck it. And I went to. So for the people at home, uh, the kosher salt is not as salty as sea salt. Is that correct? It has less of a salt flavor. Okay. Or like. It's more mellow. It should be called kosherine salt. Kosherine? Because, because they use it to make kosher meats. Okay, okay. I don't think the co the salt might be blessed, but I don't think they call it kosher salt so that you can use it on your table at Passover. Why? They call it kosher salt because you use this salt to kosher things. Okay, that's a, that's a fine amount of salt there. Now you gotta hit black pepper. And you're gonna see other people throw garlic pepper dark powder and stuff like that. We don't, we don't want any of that stuff. You just need salt, pepper, and that's it. That's it. You want to get liberal on this stuff because most of this stuff is going to come off in the pan when we start basting anyway. So get all, all up in there. Now we're going to flip them over. I'm going to remove this paper towel because I don't want the paper towel to take up all that seasoning. They're dry enough. Like I said, we don't want to let these things hang out too much before they hit the pan. They're going to start sweating. They're going to make moisture. Moisture is bad when you're making steaks. So let's get this pan nice and sizzling. All right, in preparation for the magic here, we got our sprigs of rosemary ready. Usually do two about a steak. Uh, we got our cloves of garlic. 
and we got our butter all chopped up. I'll usually do something like a tablespoon, uh, one and a half, maybe two tablespoons, you know, because I'm not driving. Uh, give each of these a nice little smash, okay? You don't have to worry about taking all the uh, wrap off it. Is there a name for that? The, pe the peel. The peel, okay, we don't have to peel them. There you go. heap of love which is equal to one <laughs> tablespoon of oil now the oil this is important okay you don't want to use some vegetable oil you want to go and find a high smoke point oil something neutral you can go online you can find out which one is the highest smoke point uh, so flour oil is real good for that you can use some avocado oil you had peanut oil last time I think so yeah and don't worry you can't get too cheap on that either what was good for you. All right, we're gonna wait until that starts smoking and then we're gonna start. All right, and once that pan starts smoking, we got some, some flour oil in it right now. We're gonna throw it's, the first steak It's on. ready to go. Oh, it is ready to go. <laughs> Don't walk, doesn't that didn't burn your hand? <laughs> Not yet. Only two beers. All right, you gotta, there we go. We'll use some of that. You're supposed to bring your own towel, bro. Oh, fuck. All right, let's see what you got. All right, here we go. Now, it doesn't help to have a, or it doesn't hurt to have, uh, how many drinks have I had? Two beers? It doesn't hurt to have a stopwatch here. Uh, for a steak this size, I'm probably gonna do mm, two minutes, two and a half minutes, because you don't eat steak well done. You don't eat steak medium, you get it medium well, if not rare. So we're gonna get two minutes on the clock. We're gonna see how this goes. Here we go. See you guys on the other side. All right, you don't put the garlic or the rosemary in the pan. You don't want to burn this stuff. Just put it on top. This hot oil butter combo here is going to do just fine. You want a little saute on top of the steak. Yep, full thing. And then we'll give them a little drizzle of what's on the pan. Which one's yours? Devin's got the one on the end. Out. I'm putting my shit right there. I'll push it off, don't worry. Like a, a <laughs> like, you, like you did with my beautiful, uh, whatever it is. My beautiful pan drippings. Mm. I don't even know which one is which anymore. Wow, it's so fancy. Did you cook them all different or? No, same thing. Uh, Devin cooked them. Yeah, I got you a, the special, oh. special rare one. Oh, I have a rare steak? <laughs> that's right. All right, that's it.